Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to use the Microsoft Word styles bar to easily modify and to edit your manuscript. So let's get started. So I have prepared a template beforehand so that it can save some time and I can easily show you how it works. So I've just prepared a few pages. For example, this is a title page which includes a title. Then comes your name, titles, and affiliations, and then followed by that comes the abstract, and then comes nomenclature. If you have equations in your model, then you can provide a set of table in which you define all the equations that you are using, and then comes sections like introduction, then the uh, subsections, conclusion, references, etc., etc. I have not included main section and more details about these sections. It depends and differs from uh, manuscript to manuscript, and also from top research topic and uh, different field to field. So what I've included major things is that how to format the main heading like this one and how to add a, the figure inside and add a caption and then add that caption in the in the word in the words or in the text where you can cite the uh, you, you can cite your figures and tables in the text and easily uh, you can update them automatically. So first of all what I've done is here uh, here is that this is the main title so Title is normally, uh, which I have kept, is 17 and the font is always Times New Roman. And then this this comes the names and affiliations, as you can see over here. This is a name which is uh, 10 in font and I've kept the text throughout my, uh, throughout the, this file as 10 and normally keep 10 as a, uh, as a guideline by journals. Okay, so now I will go down and I will come to the main point. So now, Instead of uh, formatting each and every heading again and again and changing the fonts one by one over here, well, you can do one simple thing. So for example, this is 12 font in Times New Roman. You have already formatted this one. So what you can do is you can go in the styles over here. You can see here different styles are appearing. You can right click over here and click on update no spacing to match selection. Okay. So once you click this one, now this font is already selected. Now I'll just show you a quick example. So let's say I'm writing something for example here it is already formatted now let's say i press enter and i write abstract okay so now if i want my this uh, text to be similar to this heading so what i'm going to do is select this one and just simply click over here so now you can see that this font comes in the start okay now the another thing what i'm going to tell you and which should be really helpful so normally when you are entering nomenclature i recommend you using a table instead okay so once one once you use a table, what is the benefit? Let me tell you. For example, you are defining this term, okay? So once you define this term, now if you want to sh show the description of this term, you will press a tab or you will just press a space bar, okay? So now once you write this one, root mean, now I'm going to write another one. Now let's say I'm going to write the next one, but the space between the, uh, between the symbol and the explanation is not even. So when you have a lot, lot of symbols, it's very difficult to manage. So what I recommend is use a table instead. You can see this table over here. I've defined my equation here, my symbol here, and the definition here. So what you can do is, once you're done, you can just select this one and just say no borders. Now you can easily see how beautiful it looks and it doesn't bother at all. And it's all also managed very easily. For example, if you want to increase or decrease the space, you can easily see how it's working. So I will just uh, quickly switch on the borders so you can see what is happening. So I'm just dragging this one here and there so that I can manipulate wherever I want. So for example, if you want this part to be over here, you can easily select from the left and right alignment. Okay, now come to the next part same part over here which is introduction now one thing that you notice is sorry i forgot to tell that this text is having a little bit of indent so that means that from the start it is having a little bit of space you can add or remove depending upon the guidelines by the manage by the journal so what you can do is click here and you will see an option here special first line indent which is 0.2 so if i decrease this one you can easily see it is changing over here so if i increase this one it will keep on increasing and you can see a preview here. So just keep it at point 0.2 and press OK. Now it will be like this. So now select this one and update this one, update this one with the selection. OK, so now, for example, if my selection is like this one, I will select this one and simply click here and my text will be formatted. For example, this text was too big. I was using in my manuscript somewhere. So the text was too big. 
So instead of selecting this one and going here and uh, changing this, I'll just simply click here and it will automatically help me man, uh, format this one. Okay. So now let's come towards the introduction. So this introduction has a heading and it is 12 in font and times in Roman. I have, what I have done is that selected this one and updated this font. So now for example, if I want to add methodology, okay, if I want to add a different section of methodology, you can see what will happen. I will select this one and select this one. You will see that it is automatically updated to two instead of manually updating this part. Now the most important part without saving, without spending time, for example, you are adding figures in your manuscript, okay? And figure, let's say this is a sample figure that you added in your manuscript, okay? So right now it's not in the center. I will press this button and it will bring it to the center. Now one more thing. This figure has an indent. Click here, go here, none, and press OK. Now it will come back to the within the margins, okay? So now let's go quickly toward this uh, uh, citation, toward this referencing, okay? So I select this figure, go to insert caption, and then you can see there's an option called table. Now, right now the option for the label is table. If you change this table to figure, you can easily change it to figure one. Now, if you want a personal or if you want a custom label, you can select new label and type whatever you want. Let's say if you want a fig. Now click on this one and you will have this automatic figure title. Now let's say uh, graphs and data. Now let's say I have this one, okay? I was quickly select this one and press this one and select control E. So select this one and I press this one which will bring it to the center. If you want you can also create a new custom style here for the figures alone. Okay. Uh, that's up to you and I don't uh, I don't recommend that one but it's up to you. Okay. So now I want to cite this figure in the text. So go here and now I want to say go to the references. Okay. No. Review. View. Just, just a second, I just forgot that. Go to references, yes. Insert caption, no. Here's an option called insert cross reference. So if you click on this one, and you will have different options which is says reference type, which one? You want to add a heading? No, we don't want section headings, we want a figure, okay? We click on this figure. Now you can see that we added a new one, so you can already see this part. So now we click on this one, and now it says insert references to entire caption that means it will put all the text you can change this to only label and number so it will only put the first part of this text so now if you click on insert focus here that there will be something come popping up over here so now if you click on this one you can see that the figure one comes in the title okay now one more thing i will tell you a very interesting thing i will just reduce the size of this figure to just show you what happened exactly okay so now let's say these are this is one figure i copy this one and I paste this one as here. Now see, these are two figures, figure one and figure two. But it here it shows figure one. Now what you can do is select this one and say update field. Now this is figure one. Now the second one comes after is figure two, okay? So let's say you updated this one as figure one. It will always come as figure one. But now remember one thing. Now this is figure one and this is figure two. So now if I change its position, I cut it from here and put it after this text now the position for this is figure 2 now now if you notice when we go up in the main text where we cite it here it is figure 1 so now if we select this one so if you remember just select the figure 1 and update field you can see that now the figure reference is figure 2 because now the originally cited figure 1 is at the second position that's why it's figure 2 now so now, similarly, I'm going to remove uh, the fig extra figures and I will talk about the tables now. Similarly, go to home and select the normal tab and then press Ctrl E to bring the table caption into the center. Now you can see that this equation comes here and the corresponding equation number comes on the right hand side. So I've kept a small space for the second column just to make sure my equation numbers are on the right hand side. Or you can just simply click equation number one and put them on the right indent. Now I've gone, I won't show how to add references here because I have already uh, made a video on Mendeley how to add references in your manuscript. So this is all. I hope you guys understood and uh, learned something new from this video. I will keep making smaller videos and interesting videos so that you can learn a bit more. Before going, I will just quickly change this one. I don't know why it changed automatically. Not automatically, but some by some mistake. 
So I hope you guys like this video. If you haven't watched my previous videos, do watch them. And if you have any questions or queries, do leave your comments down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz.